Y'all, listen to me. Me, Scotty, Kaya, and Geisha305 been telling y'all Trina was trash. Well, I guess after this morning, everybody is now going to listen to what the hell we got to say. All these teas and more. Stay with it. So, a happy Wednesday to y'all. So, listen, I'm at the gig, getting the bag as per usual, and I get a DM from Scotty basically telling me that he wants to do a live later on this evening about the whole Trina situation. I said, girl, what about Trina and what about the situation? So, he said, bitch. You ain't heard nothing about the morning show that her and Trick had going on when she called these people animals. I said, no, nah, girl, what the hell is you talking about? Send me the link. So he sends me the link. I'm listening to it via headphones. And I heard the most ignorant shit that I think I could have ever heard come out of Trina Rockstar's mouth. The sad part about it is she was way more mad and upset and bothered that some nondescript friend of hers shot, got vandalized than she was at the fact that this young man, and he is a young man, lost his life, killed, had life taken from him and gone, done gone to glory behind four of these cops one cop that really did it, but the other three was standing by idly watching as if they didn't think what he was doing was so wrong and so inhumane, especially considering the fact that we done already done found out that the tactic that he used isn't even used or taught to them doing the police training as it is. She was way more upset about that than this man losing his life. And then she said the worst thing that she could have ever said out of her mouth, which is calling these people animals. Do I necessarily agree with t Wreck and Shop? No. But is Wreck and Shop causing some type of change? It depends on who you ask. For me, I feel as though it is. Because then I got word that the other three cops that was st sitting idly by being complicit in their silence were also charged. I don't think that would have never happened. Quiet as it's kept. I don't even think that guy would have been gotten, um, would have been sentenced or charged with anything had it not been for us going in and letting have as a community and saying, no, no, hell no. Y'all done took one black life too many. We so sick and tired of sitting here doing these peaceful, peaceful protests. We so sick and tired of sitting here paying our tax dollar money to fund these hoes that y'all are having. That is completely dismantling us one by one by one by one by one. Then when it happens, all of y'all want to pull the proverbial, oh, well, he's been suspended, but he's still getting paid. Oh, he's been um, knocked down to death's duty, but he's still getting paid. We sick of that. We sick of that. We sick of that. People get sick and tired of being sick and tired, and I'm sorry. As wrong as it is, I'm all here for it. At the end of the day... You have way more other people, more important shit to be worrying about than us black people considering the fact that because of y'all president, because he ain't mine, because of y'all president basically putting out martial law, but basically making it okay for the white supremacists, uh, uh, the, the, the KKK coming out here trying to dismantle us one by one as well. Not to mention it was also um, government people, cops and every damn thing else basically going around causing fires, causing conflict, causing turmoil, just like everybody else. So Trina, I'm sorry. I'm not sitting here with you being more upset at the fact of your friend business windows being bust out than you are upset about the fact that this man done lost his life. Then you take it a step further and call people animals with Trina. The gag is you look more like a primate than anybody else. I never found you to be no overly attractive woman. That's number one. Number two, you wouldn't even allow Trick to get a word in edgewise. And what Trick said 
made a lot of sense when he said, everything to you is always personal. You tried to throw in your brother and your brother was killed by a black man and this, that, deadness. What the fuck does your brother being killed by a black man got to do with the fact that this white officer killed, killed this black king by pressing his knee up against the back of his neck, suffocating this man? Niggas was the one that killed your damn, uh, whoever, your nephew or whatever. This man... Minding his business, not bothering nobody. They say it was, it was all over a counterfeit 20. Come to find out the money that he get. None of their things came up um, counterfeit down to that damn store. So they basically killed this man for no reason. Drugged this man up out of his car. He was complying with people all over a counterfeit $20 bill that turned out to be real. And I know some people are going to say it was a check, it was a check. No, it done came out that the man had a counterfeit $20 bill. The people considered it counterfeit and they called the cops on this man. And the cops came and pulled this man up out of the car and did whatever they felt that like they wanted to do to him because they were so in fear of their life and this, that, that, and this, and this man is dead. But this bitch sitting on the morning radio to, and, and listen. I'm trying my hardest not to cuss because I would want this to be monetized. But the thing about it is, it's frustrating. It's frustrating when you have people that is as black as I am sitting here not realizing the bigger picture of all of this. But listen, I've been told each and every last, I've been saying it. Since Love and Hip Hop in Miami came on. That Trina is trash. She has been trash. She offered nothing to the music industry. She offered nothing to her damn uh, city. I don't understand why all of these Trina fans and stands constantly want to sit up and give somebody much. Because we go in and let have on Trina. Well, I guess y'all hoes going to go in and let have on her now. Because I'm not with this nonsense that she got going on. Being more concerned about her friend business than she is about this man life. Would not let Trick talk. Trick could not say more than three words to this woman. She probably wouldn't let nobody else talk. Because it's only what she has to say that matters. And I can't stand people like that. I can't stand when people want to talk, 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 talk. And not allow nobody else to get their grievances or their angst out. Because for some reason in their mind, they feel like what they're saying is right. And what you got to say is some nonsense. And she ain't got time to hear it. Listen. I mean, like, I, re I really don't know what else y'all want me to say. Like, Trina basically went on a tyrant about how black people, how we're animals and we're destroying the city. Well, not we, because I ain't out there. But how they're destroying the city and her good homegirl business got messed up. And you know, old oh, trick, um, you know... Uh, I don't know why you sitting here not saying nothing or being on their side because how would you feel if these people came over and messed up Sundays? And you know what Trick said? Bitch, I got insurance. I got insurance. So they could come tear down to the, to the damn uh, uh, nail post. I got insurance. And I could mess around a big, a bigger Sundays, even bigger or better. That's not, and listen. I want to say I understood where Trina was coming from, but the whole fact of she, it, 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 because it's just like Trick Daddy said, it's always personal. She made it more of a point of, oh, my friend business was messed up. And that's mainly the only thing that she had to say about it. Because as y'all know, Trina ain't got shit going on but uh, Love and Hip Hop and that show. She don't got no other business to be worried about. You let that woman worry about her damn business. I guarantee you, as long as she got some insurance, she ain't worried about that fuck ass business. She probably out there. On, on, on the on, on the front lines along with everybody else while you sitting up. Here. And that's another thing that bothers me. There shouldn't have even been a morning show. 
If you cared so much about what was going on, Trina, it was your ass that should have been out there in the front lines. You tricked the people that's dealing the morning show and every damn body else. Y'all should have been out there picking in a riot and right along with every damn body else. But yet you got so much to say. I'm not here for Trina. I ain't never been here for Trina. I always felt like she 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 was she, she like she she's she's dumb in the mind. And she's way too young. I mean, she's way too old. Excuse me. She's way too old in the game and seasoned in the game to be this dumb. Now everybody wants her canceled. And I feel like she should be. First of all, I never felt like Trina or Trick needed to be on anybody's radio. That's number one. You know, when you talk about morning radio, you know, you need to leave that to people like D.L. Hughley or um, or uh, 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 Ricky Smiley or Steve Harvey or Nephew Tommy or any one of them that actually are seasoned and know a little something, something. Trina and Trick don't have the intellect to be on nobody's morning radio, anything. But y'all Floridian and y'all Miamians is just going to deal with it because it's Trick and Trina and they mean so much to y'all but y'all see what them meaning so much to y'all got y'all if I was ahead of that place and if I was a black man Trina would be nowhere near that goddamn station from this point on Trick can either do it by himself or they could bring somebody else like Jesse Wu or JT Money or Prince or Bobby Likes or or or, or Hell, Chinese Nikki or Chinese Kitty. You know, uh, anybody but Trina at this point. I'm with everybody. Trina needs to be canceled. Um, I'm going to put the link down in the description box for y'all to hear what she had to say, what she said, a whole bunch of nothing. Um, and that's just where I'm at with it. So before my blood pressure go up and I mess around and stroke out of here because y'all know I got high BP, I'm going to call y'all back later. Bye. I just woke up and I rolled up. I just woke up and I rolled up. And I got my plane ticket. That push that be my starter kit. I just woke up and I rolled up.